Oh hi, I'm Jessica Lyon, project manager of the Phoenix Firestorm project. Have you ever had happen to you that you start playing around with settings, sometimes the debug settings, or you change your preference somewhere and, and it screwed everything up and you don't know what it was that you changed and you can't seem to get it back? Well we've come up with a solution to that to help folks who tinker where they perhaps shouldn't be tinkering. That feature is called Settings Backup and this tutorial is about how to use it. So the settings backup feature is located in your preferences panel. So we'll just control P or command P on a Mac to open up your preferences. And you scroll down here and you'll just see that there's a backup tab. This is new in 4.4.0. So we'll click on that. And in here, you've got a whole bunch of new stuff. These are the settings that will be backed up. You can uncheck or check whichever ones you want or don't want to have backed up. Generally speaking, we usually want to back up everything. The first thing you got to do is choose a location on your hard drive for where you want to store that backup. So let me just do that now. I click on the set button and I've already created a folder on my hard drive. And so I'm going to go in and choose that Firestorm settings backup folder. Click OK. And so I can just click backup settings. Done. Now all my settings, all my toolbar settings, everything that I have set is backed up and, and so it's safe. And now I can go ahead and if I start playing around and tinkering with advanced things or in the develop menu or I go into the debug menu where probably I shouldn't be, most people probably shouldn't be, um, and I change something and I don't know how to fix it and I don't know what I changed and I don't know how to get it back, um, it's pretty simple to do. I can go back to my preferences, control P, I go into advanced, and this big scary button right here that says reset all settings. What that's going to do is going to wipe everything. I'm going to lose all my settings. Click reset settings. Am I sure? Eh. Yeah. Click OK. And now it's going to click close. And then I need to restart the viewer. And so I will restart and see you back here in just a moment. Okay, so here I am back into a fresh install with fresh settings. As you can see, my toolbar is all different. This has gone back to the default. Back in preferences, you see that things that, um, the way I use the viewer, the way I choose to use the viewer, options that I've set and so on, are all back to default. Everything is back to default. Go to backup here. Now, because I reset my settings, the backup path has been forgotten, but I know where it is. It's on my C drive, so I'll click my computer, C drive, click on the folder where I've got my settings backup, and click OK. And now, I click on Restore. Make sure everything's checked here, and I click on Restore. And you get a dialog that says, Settings Restore requires a viewer restart. Do you want to restore your settings and quit the viewer now? Yes, Restore and Quit. This is going to cause the viewer to close quit and we'll see you back in a minute. And here I am locking back in and as you can see my buttons are back to the way I had them. If I open up my preferences you'll see that my preferences are exactly the way I like them. So my settings restore has worked. We certainly hope you guys enjoy the settings backup and restore feature and put it to good use. And perhaps it'll give you some more freedom in playing around with your settings and tinkering with things perhaps you shouldn't be tinkering with because if you screwed up, you can now fix it pretty easily even without having to go to support. See you in the next tutorial.